So here are some things that have rechargeable batteries that you guys might be using. Today we are going to talk about batteries, and more specifically, the rechargeable batteries in Apple products. As you can see, obviously all of these items are probably significantly less in price than your MacBook or MacBook Pro, but they have the same technology as far as rechargeable batteries go, so to me, they're equally important. Now all of these items, just like your MacBook, have a rechargeable battery, and you can use them without having to plug them into an outlet. Every time you drain the battery and recharge it, they go through what's called a power cycle. This cycle represents how many times your battery has been recharged. It doesn't necessarily have to be from zero. So for instance, if you drain your battery by 50%, then you'd be only using half of the power cycle. Now, a MacBook typically has about 700 power cycles until you start having some serious issues with your battery's performance. I myself went all the way to I think 1067 cycles and couldn't even use my computer for more than five minutes until I had to plug it into a charger. Now obviously at that point it just really becomes a glorified desktop that I can easily carry around with me, but as a laptop it's kind of useless. So here's the lesson. All of your devices, such as your Beats Pill and your MacBook, keep them charged as much as possible. And for your MacBook, even though it's a laptop, when you're close to a charger, just plug it in so you don't have to waste power cycles unnecessarily. Now, obviously your MacBook is a laptop. There are going to be times where you won't have a port to plug into. So here are some quick tips to saving battery on the go so you won't use up as many power cycles when you can't be plugged into an outlet. The three big killers of battery life are screen brightness, multitasking, and CPU load. So the screen brightness is pretty simple to understand. To power the display and calculate the amount of pixels in that display, the battery is required to put out a significant amount of energy to do so. For multitasking and CPU load, you really want to keep your usage simple to conserve battery. The more that you do and the more that you put your MacBook through as far as CPU load goes, means that the CPU will heat up and so will your battery. Since these things need to be cooled to certain temperatures, obviously your fans will have to kick in and you'll be using even more power for those too. So let's go over some ways to avoid wasting battery life while on the go. The most simple way to tell what's eating up your battery is to go to the toolbar and look for the battery symbol. Go ahead and click on it and the drop down menu will show you what apps or internal processes are eating up most of your battery life. For me there's the obvious, screen brightness. You can either click on the screen brightness option to have your computer automatically control your brightness, or you can manually change it yourself. I can also see that there are several apps eating up my battery life. For those that I don't need, I can just quit those and open them back up later when I'm actually going to use them. Even though I'm not actively using them, the CPU and RAM are still using power to keep them open while they run in the background. It's kind of pointless to keep apps open that you aren't even using. Another few things you can do. If you're watching a movie or playing music, go ahead and turn the volume down a bit if it's higher than it needs to be. Speakers and audio devices can take up quite a bit of power when on full blast. So if you don't need the volume higher, it's always best to just turn it down. One tricky battery eater is your computer's backlight. I'm talking about the backlight on the keyboard. These can also take up a lot of energy and if we're being honest, most of us are working during the day and don't even need them. Now obviously, if you do end up needing it, you don't want to have to change it manually. So the best option is to have your computer operate the brightness based upon your surrounding light. The way you can select this option is by going into System Preferences and under the Keyboard menu, you can select the Adjust Keyboard Brightness and Low Light option. This will keep that pesty backlight from eating up power when you aren't even using it. Now the next one is obvious. If you want to save your long-term battery life, keep your MacBook plugged in as much as you can. Even though it's a laptop and it looks cool, doesn't mean that it lasts forever. You definitely won't look that cool when you have to drop another thousand dollars or more in a year or two when you could have made your battery last a lot longer. Batteries are definitely not worth getting replacements for, so you really just have to buy the newest laptop on the market. I'd say taking precautions now will save you a lot of money and make that investment in your computer last just that little bit longer. So those are my thoughts and tips on your computer's rechargeable battery. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you have any ideas or comments on batteries. I would definitely love to hear what you guys do to conserve battery life. Also, if you have the time, please go ahead and click that subscribe button to see some of our upcoming content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an awesome day.